The showdown is not meant to cause offense or harm. The viewer acknowledges any reliance on the accuracy or completeness of said content should be done at their own discretion. The host apologizes in advance for any affront as a result of personal attacks. Welcome to the showdown. We're going to do it a little bit differently today. I'm going to be the judge. Hannah Kaiser and Ruben Amaro are going to go head to head and I'll decide the winner for each debate. All right, we're also going to have Hannah and Ruben debate in a more structured style. So without further ado, first topic, the MVP award and the Cy Young award right now are given in each league. Should they instead be given across all of Major League Baseball? Hannah, you have 30 seconds for an opening statement. Okay, so this proposal includes not just unifying the leagues and giving the awards, which of course we should do because the context between the two is completely erased, but the rules being the same, you're playing under the same rules, you should be compared to everyone who is playing under those rules. However, slashing the number of MVPs, the number of Cy Young is in half, I get it, it's kind of unfun and a little bit anti-labor. A lot of guys have the contracts built or sort of like a provisions built into their contracts. You don't want to, you don't want to make it less likely that that happens. So I think we do a gold, silver, bronze in each league for three awards, that way you can actually rank people uh, instead of having to differentiate them. All right, uh, rebuttal, sir. If the court pleases. Yes. Uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm a little old school on this one. You're playing basically 110 games in your own league. That's 68% of your games in your own league. To me, you have to be judged on it per league. Uh, now, if there is a change in, you know, in the structure of how things are aligned, you know, whether or not that, that happens down the road, then there's a difference in, in, in that possibility. But as far as I'm concerned, when you're competing against the same, you have to compete against the same. And then you have to be judged accordingly as far as I'm concerned. Well done within your time frame. Now, you have a chance, Hannah, to rebut the rebuttal. Yes, I'd like to bring some examples to bear upon this. Last year provided us with the absolute perfect example. Aaron Judge won the MVP in the American League because, of course, he had 11.6 fan graphs war. Paul Goldschmidt won the MVP in the National League. He had 7.0 fan graphs war. Shohei Otani, 9.4 fan graphs war. Doesn't get any award. Under my system, great. Give Aaron Judge the gold medal. Otani can win the silver, and Paul Goldschmidt can win the bronze. The difference between Shohei Otani and Paul Goldschmidt was the same as the difference between Paul Goldschmidt and Willie Adamas, and I'm sorry, but Willie Adamas didn't even get any 10 place votes. As far as I'm concerned, there's no second places. I mean, if you want to change, if you want to change some of these uh, uh, actual awards, MVP, best player, whatever the case may be, but I don't believe in second places. You're, you're number one or you're not, or, or you're zero. Uh, and, and, as, and as far as I'm concerned, I believe that you've got to stay with the winner and that's it, one winner and go from, go from there. I would like to issue my verdict on this one. Uh, very well presented. <laughs> Excellent job with very good details and everything else. Very emotional yes. in the way that you went about it as well. The winner of this is Hannah. <laughs> of uh, course. I, and Hannah wins that one. I think that, that silver, bronze, gold medals, I love it. I think that it, more awards being given out where the union would support it as well. Mm. And the differential between Goldschmidt and Willie Adamas was powerful. I respectfully disagree. We already know the, <laughs> the places they released. We know who got second, so we should at least commemorate them. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Talk well done. All right. Next topic. Okay. Yesterday, David Fry of the Guardians, a backup catcher, threw four innings of relief. What do you think of position players pitching? Now, Ruben, 30 seconds for your opening statement. As far as I'm concerned, it is an unmitigated disaster to have pitchers, uh, have position players be on the mound. As far as I'm concerned, a pitcher should be pitching, and he's the only guy who should be on the bump. If you have 13 pitchers, I mean, there was a time when there was nine pitchers that you can go through 162 um, Major League Baseball games. As far as I'm concerned, if you are not fielding enough uh, pitching and quality pitching to be able to guess, get through nine innings in a Major League Baseball game, then you have not done your job as a GM. Hannah, your rebuttal. Thank you. I understand that team's argument for having position players pitch is because they don't want to waste their pitchers. And that is what you rebutted. So I'm going to circumvent that and take the fan perspective and say, I don't think that the Guardians losing 20 to 6 to the Twins would have been more interesting if we didn't get to see the first ever position player to throw four innings in a game since 1988. And all 64 of his pitches were slower than 60 miles an hour, which is a new Major League Baseball record. That gives something for the fans to watch. How is that bad? Would you like to rebut the rebuttal? I will rebut the rebuttal. As, as far as I'm concerned, players are to play 
Pitchers are to pitch, and, and, and that provides the entertainment. Again, I will go back to what I feel is the most important part of baseball is starting pitching and relief pitching, and if you have the right guys and you develop them properly, then you will be able to make up all of those innings that are necessary to field a major league team. I think that when we as analysts tend to talk about this issue, because I, I understand it's like very popular to be to rail against the, the scourge of position players pitching these days, but I think we're doing so from a perspective of people who view the entire league and we're like, what an embarrassment this one particular game is. But if you're a fan of that team that's going to lose by a massive blowout, getting to see something that you would otherwise never get to see, a guy pitching in a game. Last year, Albert Pujols and Yadier Molina both got to pitch on their way out in retirement. That's cool for the Cardinals fans. I don't think that the Cardinals fans would rather switch over and watch a closer game. I think they would like to watch Albert Pujols and Yadier Molina get their first ever chances to pitch. I think we can't separate the fact that this is an entertainment product from the fact that sometimes games are big blowouts and there just isn't an interesting matchup and they want to just be done, but it gives something for the fans to watch. Very well presented. Now, last year, 160 position players pitched in games. This year, already over 120 uh, position players have pitched in games so far. I'm going to issue my verdict, and the verdict is, Ruben, you win this one. As a former wow. general manager, I know I'm a little biased. <laughs> I think it's horrible as a general manager when you don't have position, when you have position players pitching overall. But here's the thing, we have a tie. And so now I have to break the tie. It's one <laughs> versus one. So I would like to say that, that there are no ties in baseball. <laughs> Hannah, I like the pink a little over the green, so I'm going to go with you as the winner today. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks, all, all right.